I know someone that had issues middle of the night recently and she called the police she called the police she called the Ghanaian police on the phone and they said eh, yeah 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 and this person is not Ghanaian this is a foreigner living in Ghana they asked her what happened and she was like explained her issues because she had a fight with her husband and um she wanted the police involved and they asked her what happened are you okay uh, these people were calling this woman every five five minutes and they did not delay they just wanted a landmark to where this woman was so that they can come and the moment she told them they made their way to the woman's gates she opened the gates they came in so they insisted she followed them because by the time they got to the house the man had <laughs> already run away you know Ghana police you know them it's when you are you have not patronized Ghana police before that is when you will hear about the Ghanaian police coming you will hear that someone that is when you will know that someone is calling the police on you someone is calling the police on you and you will sit down there and wait for them this guy because it's a regular customer for other nyama nyama things that he may have done as a human being you know who is trying to behave who is living in a country that is forcing him to adjust his bones to do the right thing so when he heard it he ran away so when they came there like where is he she wanted them to go to where he's hiding and pick him they said no he will come to us when he comes out let's go to the station and she went there dropped the statement and that was it <laughs> ah Ghana police somewhere in the wakanda republic of giants <laughs> should i talk or i should keep quiet should i talk they love their country forget any other thing i don't i don't care Apart from them being good people, they love and protect their country and they know that when I do bad, it's going to come back here in and hurt this land. Ghana police and the American police, they are sitting up there. Because see, an American police is so much into his country that he just want to do, he want to do this job like his life depends on it. The day an American man becomes a police officer is the day that he has exchanged his life for the good service of the good people of his country and these people are like that right from time I have always stated that they are my favorite sector in Ghana followed by education and maybe one day we'll take time and I'll talk about that education and why but for today i'm talking about the ghana police okay so ladies and gentlemen we are back again with another youtube video thank you so much for clicking and if you are new here i my name is lillian of course to you my returning subscribers thank you so much for always tuning in to watch my videos and please if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification so that anytime i upload a video youtube will notify you the Ghanaian police service is trending again. It's for another incredible, honorable reason again. And I am super proud of this sector. I am very happy. I am blushing. I am super proud. In fact, I'm excited to bring you guys this video. So you guys do well to like this video, okay? Before you see me support anybody or anything in my life, it is not because I have no choice. Okay, I'm supporting you because you are my this. I'm supporting you because you come from here. I'm supporting you because you are this to me. No, I am supporting you because you are a good person or that thing is a good thing ghana police service is one of those is one of the sectors that i love so much immediately i came to ghana because like they they are just so organized do you understand they are organized and i have always stated it reason i love them and since then till now every opportunity given to them they use it to make me proud because i have always stated it i have always made it very clear that i am in for these people i love them and i am they a big fan and see they keep making me proud now this is happening again
This is happening again, Ghana police. Mm? Mm? Seriously, let's just take a look at this video and I will be back again to talk more about this incredible police service we have in Africa, precisely in Ghana. Hi guys, Charlie. God bless Ghana police. God bless Ghana police. See, I'm, I'm riding around Medina, Medina Atomic Junction. I'm riding on Atomic Junction. Ah, yes, there's some policemen, they call me, si, 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 hey, 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 my money fall down, 2,100 Ghana City. This policeman saw my money on the floor. Big, big man, God, God bless you. Hey, he saw my money on the floor, he, and he yes, si, 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 si. I said, ah, hey, they pass, they pass, they pass. I just say, I want to arrest myself. Wait, so, stop, stop. He come, boss, I beg the money. See, my money, 2,000, Mr. Short Nika, and I scan the free motor from 2,100. The police might be in this. I never, Ghana police. Yes, I Ghana I Ghana police. Not to say the joke. God bless Ghana. Big man, God bless you. Yami Shrao. Yami Shrao. Hey guys, Charlie. God bless Ghana police. God bless Ghana police. Seriously, just like that. I don't know why a lot of people are surprised, especially Ghanaians. For me, I am not surprised, okay? I am not surprised. The police in Ghana are trying. I am not surprised that they picked money and a gentle, humble, young policeman would just signal a civilian to say, come and take your money. Come and pick it. Come and this. Come and do the right thing. Come and take this or this. I am not surprised. But I am here to let you know that I'm super proud of them for this that they have done again. And guess what? It's only one police manual. But now the whole police service is trending. This is why it is good to be at your best behavior in any way you find yourself. And this is why it is good to make sure that you correct the people that you are associated with. Because when one of them do something, it's gonna get the entire body or country or family or state to trend or continent to trend for just the sins or goodness of one person among you. Do you understand? So for me, I am only here as a mommy beer that I am. Mm -hmm. I am here to just congratulate the Ghanaian police service again for C. Man, I'm proud of you guys. I am proud of you guys. I continue to say it. Okay, I will keep on. I will continue to say it. So wait, oh, but it did not end there because sometimes people doing good and you saying well done is not enough. Do you understand? It is not enough. You have to encourage good behavior the same way you punish bad behavior. So let me leave you to the another clips because see, after tears comes joy. See, 2,000 Ghana cities is not little money. That is somebody's rent somewhere in this country. That is somebody's hospital bill somewhere. That is somebody's shopping money that is somebody upkeep for the whole month in ghana that is someone with kids even that is somebody's school fees somewhere here in ghana but this man picked it up and this young policeman picked it up and finally fit to return the money back to the owner now look at how he got his reward so what actually happened after this guy posted this video a good samaritan who is a ghanaian artist in the uk i think or in the us saw the video went viral and decided to do what to give the policeman ten thousand ghana cities that's equivalent in naira my night for life of my nigerians that's equivalent to one million naira that's equivalent to one million naira on behalf of NY Melody, I'm here to handle money to um, Michael. And to Sikane, yeah, and yeah, I better to say here, maybe I had a BB Nasha envelope, a real 200 note. And you know, so mommy, why? Yeah, 10,000 Ghana cities. Papa, yeah, we're in to know. Your money 10,000. Why? Let me shout. One person, I'm going to do my part. This is a big example for all of us. So that's it. Let me shout. You can see 
<laughs> if he had kept the two Ghana cities, I mean, 2,000 Ghana cities, seriously, it's not little money, but what is that going to do, to do for you? What is that going to do for you? That is somebody's salary. Is somebody's child school fees, hospital bill, and name them upkeep for the whole month. But this guy finally fit to return. Now look, he got times how many? Times five, ten thousand Ghana cedis. That's about close to one thousand US dollars right now. Even though maybe slightly, let's say 900 US dollars, just like that, for him to just because he returned somewhere around 180 US dollars or even slightly less, or let's leave it at 200, say 200 US dollars. Now, look at how he's rewarded. See, there is everything good in being good, even though. See, if you're expecting your reward on HTA, it may not come quick and it may never come until you return back to your creator. But let me tell you something. There's peace of mind that comes with being a just person. There is peace of mind that comes with you being considerate, knowing that if I do this thing, I'm going to bring shame to these people. There is peace of mind in fearing God. Because when this guy picked up this money, I know there are CCTV's camera ev almost everywhere in Accra, especially at that particular spot where the policeman picked this money. But trust me, if he did not want to return it, nothing will happen. The camera may not even have picked. And even if they picked, how is this guy on a motorbike going to make a loud noise that it will be heard? by the whole city that will force the city police to even go and it's okay let's go and take a look at our camera cctvs to see do you understand this guy would never have been able to be traced if he wanted to pocket that money and nothing will happen nobody will know nothing will happen but he released it now see i know there are a lot of people on this table of where the police guy is you have been doing good every day you do good People will beg you for money, you will give. Ah, you'll be wondering. But on Instagram, I'm seeing where people will beg you for money. And when you give them, the same people will return. I mean, the same person will return the money for you and even add lots of money for you because you have shown them kindness. So why is my case different? Why am I not feeling? Why am I not getting this type of thing happen to me? But I am a giver. I keep giving. Nothing has changed. No one has given me a trophy. And you are contemplating. What is even good about doing good? Yes, good does pay. Being a good person does pay. Apart from the physical reward that you get, there is this thing in your heart. There's, there's this peace of mind that that money cannot pay for that you will have. Do you know that when you do the right thing, you do good, good will follow you. In Africa, when somebody falls down and dies, we start to calculate if they have done something bad because, you know, because we have made it look like dead is a punishment for bad thing for bad behavior but in reality is not even the book of law has made it clear that we are all gonna die one day just do good look at this police guy doing good in the dark when nobody was watching him now he has brought that goodness and he has rubbed it on everybody around the police service that has forced the whole ghana police now to look as good as i have always sees them to be let me tell you a story i was coming back from the gym a few days ago and i saw this handsome tall police guy he was going this way and i was you know coming and when we walked close to each other he has he had this bam smile on his face and he said to me hello ah oh god i was I was like, which kind of police? Which which kind of police is this? Which kind of American <sighs> Ghana police? Now I know someone that had issues in the middle of the night and she called the police. <laughs> she called the police. She called the Ghanaian police on the phone and they said, eh, Nipacho, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she went on to speak in the in English, this person is not Ghanaian, 
this is a foreigner living in ghana and they asked her what happened and she was like explained her issues because she had a fight with her husband and um she wanted the police involved and they asked her what happened are you okay uh, these people were calling this woman every five five minutes and they did not delay they just wanted a landmark to where this woman was so that they can come and the moment she told them they made their way to the woman's house they were at her gates she opened the gates they came in they insisted she followed them because by the time they got to the house the man had <laughs> already run away you know ghana police you know them it's when you are you have not patronized ghana police before that is when you will hear about the ghanaian police coming you will hear that someone that is when you will know that someone is calling the police for you on you someone is calling the police on you and you will sit down there and wait for them this guy because it's a regular customer for other nyama nyama things that he may have done as a human being you know who is trying to behave who is living in a country that is forcing him to adjust his bones to do the right thing so when he had he jumped but he ran away so when they came they're like where is he she wanted them to go to where he's hiding and pick him they say no he will come to us when he comes out let's go to the station and she went there dropped the statement and that was it <laughs> ah ghana police somewhere in wakanda somewhere in the wakanda republic of giants <laughs> should i talk or i should keep quiet should i talk you call police for nights you tell them, <laughs> I'm having a fight with my husband. Please come. My husband is beating me. <laughs> ah, my sister, don't even, don't, don't do it. Okay. Instead of calling the police, call your neighbors. Okay. Call your neighbors. What did I say? Call your neighbors. If you are watching this video in the Wakanda giant of Africa, don't call police. Call your neighbor. <laughs> Except if you are rich and mighty, you are a celebrity, you know the police station to call and you are calling a police station that is also a social media celeb. You are calling the ogre at the top. That way they will answer you. Otherwise, you, Moshru, you, you a regular, you are calling police. They won't come. They will even ask you, are you a foolish woman? Why are you fighting with your husband? Why did you look for trouble? Eh? Pray. Why did you look for your husband's trouble? The street is hungry, you are You want to go to the streets and do any happy? They will judge you to the extent that next time, as a woman, you will not be able to call them again when you have bigger issues than that. That is actually a big issue because we are talking about domestic violence here where kids are involved. Do you understand? But this kind of police actually came this happened recently and i did not want to talk about it because <laughs> but now that um they have used their hand to trend to force everybody to talk about them because men except you are a hater of good thing that is when you will not celebrate a behavior like this picking two thousand Ghana cities and returning it back in this harsh economy it is good to be good there is reward for being good now it's not about the ten thousand cities given to him it takes you a long time to save up especially if you have family that may even be your like five years pension like for you to have save and save and save to be able to get ten thousand Ghana cities but see we are talking about the good name i'm not even looking at the monetary aspect of the reward that had come with this incredible behavior of this Ghanaian policeman i'm looking at the fact that he, he has he has rubbed all of the good oil on all his colleagues to the point that it has forced the entire force to trend the entire service to trend in a positive light see i've always talked about them and some of these things that they do that force me to love them things like you know a policeman sees you violating the traffic rules in ghana 
he will send you back to the very beginning of that place where you start your fault from where you violate from he or she will send you back massa you will not pick your khaki you will not seize your khaki massa impacho ko ko bra you know just go just go he wants you to go back and do the right thing this is how for me i don't know what else to um look at and i think they are trying even though they have their issues they are human they have their battles they have their struggles they have their demons because i mean even the bible says that no one is perfect but these guys are doing amazing you know to let us continue to support our police seriously i know that it takes Ghanaians to help the police service to be at their best. But sometimes, them on their own, they are just naturally human. Like, they are incredible. And sometimes you may not know what you have until, you know, you experience something else. And if you ask me, as a matter of fact, I will call on the Ghanaian police service to please promote this young guy. So that it's going to be an encouragement to other people not just to the men of the Ghanaian police service but to everyone living in the country and even outside the country is going to promote that it's going to help some people see there are people that will never do anything until they are motivated to do by others so when they see rewards like this if see when they see that it helps them to also oh okay someone did good the other day and see what follows do you understand? It will help to motivate. I appreciate the 10,000 cities given to him. But I wish that more people continue to pour in this monies. God knows if I have. I would have sent my own to him. To add. If you are watching this video right now. And you have money to spare. To encourage that guy. Please. I think you should reach out to. What's his name? Zion Felix. I think Zion Felix knows this guy. Kematu knows this guy. Or their media houses you could go to if you have money to support this guy give him massively let us do good for this kind of people i am proud of the ghanaian police service i am super proud of the ghanaian police service you know me if he's not giving i'll tell you like when i go to the hospital he's not giving he's not giving when i'm when in when i'm sick or my child is sick if i'm going to the hospital around where i live i always have this anxiety because i don't know <laughs> the kind of quarry i'm going to quarry there do you understand because it's not given at that particular hospital for me trust me it is not given because i find myself quarreling from the security men at the gates to the doctor to the metro to the nurses the lab technicians to the lab technician i mean i'm a bad character because i don't understand because it's not given but this police attitude i mean the police the ghanaian police service is given it's given baby it's given everybody now copy oh yeah africans uh, copy everyone copy i think the ghanaian police service should do like a seminar where they'll do it like a live international broadcast <laughs> they do like a live international broadcasting let it go round let it spread let other of their let other people watch it let the international communities as well get to see some things that they do and now if you ask me why do i think this is happening in ghana i honestly want to tell you is the fact that they love their country because they love their country they love their country forget any other thing i don't i don't care apart from them being good people they love and protect their country and they know that when i do bad it's gonna come back here in and hurt this land ghana police and the american police they are sitting up there eh? for now to me right now in the whole world they are the best because see an american police is so much into his country that he just want to do he want to do this job like his life depend on it like the day an american man becomes a police officer is the day that he has exchanged his life you know for the service for the good service of the good people of his country and these people are like that, Ghanaians. I mean, man, I am proud to have spoken about them 
right from time that the Ghanaian police service is my number one sector in Ghana followed by education and maybe one day we'll take time and I'll talk about that education and why but for today I'm talking about the Ghana police and at this point I want to rest my case here and I want to pray for the police officer may you continue to be like that may we all continue to you know to follow so just be good hmm? and congratulations to the guy the owner of the money i'm so glad they have made me proud again god bless the ghanaian police service long live the ghanaian police service and even though me <laughs> i don't want to near you guys okay i don't want to have problem with the ghana police i just want to praise you guys when you do good and when you do bad i don't even i'm not seeing bad in you you won't do bad there is no one i support that do bad mm -mm. once i throw my weight behind you it simply means you are a good guy there is a force that will come upon you that will make you to continue to be an amazing person or body or thing that is me that is a special grace upon me because why i don't just support anybody I do not. I may have mercy upon you and be nice to you. I may be nice to you, but I don't just wake up and say, okay, you see this person, I did your back. No, I don't do that. <laughs> Even my kids in the house, I'm studying them all. It's not all these children in this house that me, I say this one, I know I'm rich grand. There are times when my kids comes up with a topic, I already know who is lying because I know one of them will never do that. And that is not because I just wake up and I look at her face and say, this one can never do that. It's because I, both from my spirit and from experience, it has been like that. So thank you so much, the Ghanaian police, for making us proud again. I For making me in particular proud because I think I'm one of your big um, fan, you know. So thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys in another one. Bye.